Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, allowing me to be in your life. You know, you're healing from things. You know, you started off with this journey not knowing where you're going. And now you're heading towards the end of your journey this stronger and better than ever. And, you know, about to step into a new chapter of beautiful blessings. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and write me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just opening up, telling me about your empathic gift and how it's impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good loving vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to res resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to um, relaxing music, three hours of music with no loops, stress relief, spa music, stress management. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, health is going through strong ascension symptoms. Like, I was reading up on this, y'all, I so please forgive me because I had to write all this stuff down because I know I sent it to a couple of people that I'm friends with on Messenger, um, Facebook Messenger, that you know that truly needs to know about all these things that, you know, they might be going through and stuff like that. So, you know, I wrote down all these things and you never know you might be going through it. And it's like the side effects to ascension, knowing. Your body is responding to different, um, responding differently by physical and emotional symptoms, mentally, spiritual, and you might, you might feel like you're losing your mind or going crazy. There's times when I felt that way. <laughs> when I first started, I was going through a downward spiral. I was snapping on people. I was throwing stuff, breaking it, you know, and even though I had narcissistic, semi narcissistic people in my life that was gaslighting me, that was just adding more fuel to the C4 dynamite that I was dealing with. So, you know, you might have been going through that when you went through your first start of your spiritual awakening. And it says uh, physical difficulties, aches and pains throughout the body, soreness and stiffness in joints due to uh, non-injury or physical exercise or fatigue, especially neck, shoulders, back, and spine. I deal with that a lot. I deal with that a lot. You know, I, my there are certain parts of my body that will start tingling for no apparent reason. I don't know. I don't know if it's like the twin flame thing or it's just me going through ascension phases. So you might be going through some of these things. Um, it says pressure, pain, headaches, ears, sinus, teeth, fillings, and gums. Yes. <laughs> you know, there is a lot of teeth sensitivity, um, which I already had problems with my teeth when, since I was little. I was born with, like, no, no uh, what was it called? I didn't have enough calcium in my system, so uh, I was growing uh, milk teeth. My, my teeth were always soft, so I had to constantly keep getting them pulled out all the time since I was little. Um, you might feel uh, pinpricks, electrical shocks, falling asleep feelings, uh, warm energies, tingle, tingles, random spasm rushes of energy. Yes, there are some times I can be sitting, y'all probably see me doing like this because I can get uncomfortable real quick, but I'm flexible and I used to be able to do that. But since all these ascension phases and shifts I've been going through, it gets kind of uncomfortable and my legs can get really stuck stiff and then they'll get stuck that way headaches and migraines y'all know i've been telling y'all about this a lot there are sometimes i've been having to take days off or i could sit up here and be talking to y'all i have a headache like crazy and it says uh and, and it doesn't respond to meds hair and nails grow a lot faster and or a change texture your vision my vision is is like it'll be hazy like you can walk out of a room and it'll look like something's on fire and I'll start panicking like oh my god it's something burning and it's nothing 
It's my eyes. <laughs> so uh, it says general changes with vision and perception, catching glimpses and sparkles or flashes of light through your per peripheral vision, dry, itchy eyes, blurry vision, uh, seeing haze or static uh, energy in air, seeing auras of light around people, animals, and objects. I have seen that a lot, and I thought something was wrong with me. I started tripping. It says senses of uh, physical dis uh, disorientation, all, often eye exams which show no change. And mine hasn't changed in the last three years, but yet, you know, my vision, I'll, I'll start squinting and everything. And then it says something about your heart. I have a lot of heart palpitations. I'm, you know, I was always thinking it was probably because of the negative stuff, the anger that I was holding in. It was probably trying to let me know my heart chakra need to be healed and I need to work on that through meditation. But they said, you know, also you need to do that as well. But I was having more of those, like it makes you feel like you're having a heart attack at times. But still, I wouldn't say not go to the doctor. If you feel like you're having a heart attack, you need to go ahead and go. Um, it says uh, a lot of pressure in both front chest as well as mid back upper breastplate area additional chakra vortex activating sudden nervous nervousness and anxiety that comes and goes yes yeah, spontaneous for no reason yeah <laughs> i go through high anxiety a lot it says feeling drain of energy y'all know i've had to take two or three actually two days off or one day off which i might end up doing tomorrow um because i feel drained uh, unexplainable worries, ner nervousness, break, nervousness, breakdown, sensation, or feeling that you are spiraling, spiraling out of control. Yeah, you're hearing my ears ring a lot. Like it'll be the left ear sometimes, or it'll be the right one. It sounds like somebody's hitting one of those chimes, and it's like, ee, I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, hearing unusual sounds and um, auditory sensations, ear popping and ringing also uh hearing pings beeps and tones frequency wishing and pulsating like when i listen to a lot of these meditations that i do for y'all in the background i can hear certain instruments being played like i can always separate them and i never thought i could be able to do that but i can separate everything from different in instruments just by listening to it feeling off balance a sense of, sense of vertigo yeah i'll be walking sometimes and i feel like i'm drunk and i know i'm not drunk this is cold and flu symptoms. A lot of y'all might be going through this a lot. I've been hearing a lot of it, you know, on Facebook and, well, social media and stuff. People dealing with flu and cold symptoms. It's like uh, stuffiness and head pressure, sinuses, allergies, problems, respiratory changes, changes in body temp, increased sensation of hot and cold. Yes, because y'all seen me a couple of days ago putting on a jacket and it wasn't even cold in here. And I ended up putting on a jacket. And circulation issues, chills and hot flashes, night sweats, waves of heel, uh, heat throughout the body, fatigue, tired for no reason, often after uh, a full night's sleep, intolerance due to time you might feel a sense of intolerance towards the 3D world, reflecting convos, attitudes, emotional um, emotional sadness. Yes, like I was telling y'all the other day, I've been watching, been watching, binge watching Vampire Diaries, and it's just so many things I'm resonating throughout that show with different people that I would just burst out into tears because that was something I was dealing with. Or I watched Candyman too the other day, and it was just listening to her telling her mom how much she lied about the family knowing they were related to someone, and I had to stop watching it because that was like punching the gut to me. Like, Dad, you know, I've watched this movie a hundred times. Times, and this is the first time it really affected me like that. Um, and it says feeling lost as if you're someone else, losing your ego, personal identity, old, be old beliefs, changing feeling, disassociated and fragmented, tear or cry for no feel uh, for no reason, feeling lonely even around a group of people, flight mode, not motivated, experiencing experiencing frequent clumsiness, like I would trip over my own feet trip over stuff that's not there <laughs> feeling dizzy or forgetting like you can go into a room and forget about what you're going in there for and I have to go backtrack myself just to remember what I'm going in there for relationship changes yes like I've been a loner I don't barely talk to anybody urge to relocate is just a certain place 
that you are drawn to that you really feel like you need to be sudden sudden changes in jobs and there's many more than that but I know I just didn't want to make this video really long but there was just like so many things like you could be hanging around with a group of friends and it's just like even though you love them you might not even want to be going through the things like the daily routine like there's times that you know we have movie night on our horror fan group and I would look forward to that every week because I love my family like that I say I love y'all and I have my my horror group family too but I just can't engage with them like I used to and I love to do that but it's like all of our levels are different or some people could be dealing with some so many strong things it's really hard for me to be in the group because the energy would be spearing out into the group so it's just a lot of different things you might be you know experiencing any cold flu symptoms hot flashes a wave of cold flashes you know all these headaches blurry vision you know daydreaming there's so many different signs so you have to be careful and pay attention to the things that you're going through I was gonna make this video yesterday but I just didn't have enough time I was doing just doing too many things so I knew I had a lot of stuff that was you know I wrote down because like I told y'all when I find stuff that I've been going through and it stuff just you know screams at me hey read me hey watch me I do that and so the next thing you know I end up making a video about it so y'all can know hey I you might be going through this too as well so pay attention to the signs make sure you drink plenty of water which I need to go ahead and do myself because I haven't been I've been drinking energy drinks to keep myself awake because I've been doing too many things at one time so but anyways you know drink enough water meditate make sure you say your affirmations be loving to yourself as well as others. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And also, I'm sending infinite abundance, love, and just uplifting vibes and healing vibes if you truly need it. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And give me a ring. Drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.